What if you were given a choice? A regular 12.6 ounce bag of M&Ms today, or two M&Ms today, four tomorrow, eight the next day, 16 the next, and to continue the pattern for two weeks. Which would you choose? How many M&Ms would that be? How could we find out? Is there a pattern? In one 12.6 ounce plain bag of M&Ms, there are about 385 M&Ms and approximately 173 peanut M&Ms in the same size bag. So what about in two weeks? The choice is for two M&Ms today, four tomorrow, eight the next day, 16 the next, and to continue the pattern for two weeks. But what is the pattern? How are these numbers related? Two times one is two, two times two is four, two times four is eight, and two times eight is 16. The pattern skips two times three. It looks like this pattern's exponential, but let's see. Two to the first power is two. Two to the second power is two times two, that's four. Two to the third power is two times two times two, that equals eight. Two to the fourth power is two times two times two times two, that's 16. That fits our pattern. After that, two to the fifth is 32. Two to the sixth is 64. On the fifth day, you will receive 32 M&Ms. On the sixth day, you will receive 64. On the 14th day, it will be the end of two weeks. Two to the 14th is the number of M&Ms you will be given on that day. To know how many M&Ms you have received in all, you need to add the number of M&Ms given to you on each day. The sum of the numbers in the third column is how many you will have in two weeks. Their total is 32,766. That's way more than a regular bag. Other applications of exponential growth and decay include biology, physics, economics, finance, and computer technology. I hope you enjoyed this lesson and thank you for watching.